let's talk about some of the major map locations important for your UPSC mains. Now here we have the first location which is Kannur district in Kerala. Now here you have a mass kitchen that was started for eradicating poverty and under the name Kudumbashri and this is a community kitchen initiative that was started during the lockdown period and this was covered under down to earth so important the next is nopada district which is in odisha it is known for distress migration again from down to earth you have extremely poor roads and infrastructural facilities and the conditions are so poor that even the basic access to the health care cannot be achieved so nopada is again a very very important uh, place in news these days jalor you have uh, people's participation efforts that have been seen for uh, renovation of the wells so uh, the two step wells have been renovated in the regions of jalor and this was a coverage under the p IB. The next is Sunya Court. Now, Sunya Court village lies in Uttarakhand. It has been in news recently because the water crisis problem in Sunya Court has been resolved by uh, people coming together creating fund and donating labor to make water available for their village. So this was again a very very important coverage in PIB. The next is Rotang Pass. Now Rotang Pass if we look on to the, uh, the special aspect of it, it connects the Kullu Valley and the Lahol Spiti Valley of Himachal Pradesh. You have three rivers which are originating and passing through this region. So you have the three rivers that are passing through this region are Chena, Bias and Chandra River. Also, recently you have the world's longest tunnel that is at a height of 3000 meters that is nearly 8.8 .8 kilometer long tunnel uh, which has been constructed in order to reduce the distance between Leha and Manali by nearly 46 kilometers and therefore Rotang Pass has been in news. Sabroom in Tripura is an important place. You have first approved special economic zone established by government in Tripura in 2019 mainly focusing on agro based uh, food processing industry the next is darjeeling now darjeeling is known for its tea however recently you have green tea and white tea of darjeeling which have received a gi indication or a geographical indicator tag uh, this region itself the darjeeling itself nearly produces 85 lakh kilograms of tea every year of which green tea constitutes nearly 10 lakh kilograms and white tea nearly 1 lakh kilograms both of these are now a, have a GI tag at Darjeeling. The next is Sahib Kanj. At Sahib Kanj, you have a multimodal cargo terminal that has been constructed under the Jalmarg Vikas Pariyojana. The next is Bhubaneswar. Now, in Bhubaneswar, recently you have Naval Tata Hockey Academy, which has established a kind of high performance center at the Kalinga Stadium. Uh, so, again, important. And also, you have another important plant for repair of uh, the waste energy that has been established at Bhubaneswar. So for two of these reasons, Bhubaneswar in Odisha was in news recently. You have Malya Dutharai. Now this is a new district in Tamil Nadu. It has se uh, separated from uh, Nagapattinam. So a new district that has been created in Tamil Nadu, not only important for your UPSC, but also for Tamil Nadu state services. The next is uh, Garisen. Now Garisen is uh, important because you won't believe in Uttarakhand you have two capitals. The winter capital is Dehradun and the summer capital is Garisen. Now this is a very, very less heard of term that or very less heard of place that you have uh, you would be aware of but it's very very important. Uh, Uttarakhand, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh separated in 2000 and they were formed as new states and since then you have the new capitals that were part of it. The next is Dumka. Dumka is located in Jharkhand. Again important because uh, the city uh, is a kind of subsidy of Ranchi and therefore is important. So it lies in the region of uh, the, the southern region of Bihar that is here. You have Dumka that is uh, carved out from 
the south portion of the Bihar now lying in the regions of Jharkhand. The next is Daman. Now recently Daman and Deem merged into a single union territory with Daman as the capital. So this was under the Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Deem. So Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Daman and Deem together as one union territory under the merger of union territories act 2019 in 2019 November. So again important. Jammu security, the airport security of Jammu was taken over by CISF. So CISF takes over the responsibility for all the air, airports across India. After the hijack in 1999, most of the security was shifted from airport police to CISF and Jammu airport recently shifted it and therefore was in news. Ladakh, uh, you have the region of Ladakh where you have uh, the local dance which is Shondol and this dance has been re uh, recorded in Guinness Book of Records because it is it was one of the largest Ladakhi dance being performed by more than 400 people in traditional uh, fashion at their local festival which was known which is known as the Naru festival. Uh, the next is Valivad. Valivad lies in Kolhapur. Uh, now Kolhapur in Maharashtra is a uh, special place where you have uh, various structures which have been built by Polish people and uh, those people who escaped to India uh, made Valivad as their village. So therefore they have a very important significance since the World War II and you have a unique cultural significance that is seen in this region of Kolhapur. The next is Agartala. You have the National Science Film Festival that was organized in Agartala in 2020. The next is Mangalore. Uh, you have a all India, uh, the all women police patrol under the name of Rani Abaka Force which has been launched to handle the issues of women and children in the regions of Mangalore. So, Mangalore and Karnataka again very very important. Then Konark Sun Temple lying in Odisha is important. Uh, the idea is to restore this 800 years old temple and bring it to life again. So, uh, making significant renovations at Konark Sun Temple has been recommended. The next is the Bradreshwar Temple at Thanjavur. Now, this is where you have uh, numerous uh, devotees coming up near the coast at the Kaveri River. And this has a significant event which has been held after 23 years because there was a high court settlement that was pending and this was a kind of uh, ritual purification process uh, which was to be done. So, Bridreshwar temple was recently in news as per the Supreme Court documentations that were released. So, those were some of the key highlights that we have covered. We would be covering many more important topics for your map locations in the upcoming classes. So, stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.